Do you want a waifu that always feels sleepy? Do you want a waifu that can help you to clear your dailies in 5 minutes? Well, here we go, Gan Yu, the daily god. Ever since I pulled Gan Yu, I have been using her to do my dailies, weekly bosses, domain and event. The only place that I less likely to bring her is Spire Abyss because my Gan Yu is only constellation 0. So, this video I will tell you some easy guide to understand the secretary of Yue Hai Pavilion, Gan Yu. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is her charge attack. Her charge attack is different from other bow user. She has two different charge attack. The first charge attack is like normal bow user, but her second is Frost Flag Bloom. This Frost Flag Bloom need to charge for two seconds to launch. The first hit of this arrow will be like normal charge attack but when it hits something it will bloom so the thing can be ground or wall or enemy with her passive talent one she can receive extra 20 percent crit rate from her charge attack permanently as long as you keep on charging your charge attack and shoot it out you can definitely receive this 20% critical rate from her charge attack. This critical rate is only for the second charge attack. It's not for all of her damage, all of her skill, but it's only for her charge attack. As a DPS character, her charge attack is her main damage output. But there are two things you need to take note when you are shooting your charge attack. The first thing is shoot monster, because no matter where you shoot, no matter where anger you try to shoot the monster with shield, your frost frag arrow can never deal damage to the shield monster. Unless you shoot them when they are doing charge attack animation or you can freeze them. So it is good to bring character like Mona, Kokomi so you can freeze them with Mona and Kokomi. And another thing to take note is you will get stuck when you are in aiming mode in some terrain so for example in the circle of some domain you will get stuck so suddenly and you don't know why but it's actually the circle in in the middle of the domain so if you get stuck you can just dodge press your shift or right click to dodge out of that circle or you can aim downwards and move up from the circle slowly then the next thing is about her elemental skill and her elemental burst Simple and perfect for Kanyu in doing dailies and events. Her elemental skill is summon a lotus on the field and then it will turn the enemies to target the lotus. So you can shoot your charge attack without any nuisance. But of course, it is always better to bring a shield with Kanyu. So for her elemental burst, it has a super big AoE but the eye shot is RNG. Which means it is not a hundred percent that the eye shark will hit an enemy when there is only few monster inside the AoE. But if there are a lot of monster inside the AoE, the damage deal of it would be ridiculous and bigger monster have higher chance to get hit by falling ice shark. Why when there are a lot of monster inside the AoE will deal a lot of damage? It is because the ice shark have a very very small AoE damage. Which means one eye shot might hit two to three monster. So if there are a lot of monster inside the eye shot, one eye shot drop and hit a monster, it will damage the AOE and other small AOE around the eye shot. So Gan Yu Elemental Burst is one of the ridiculous Elemental Burst in Genshin Impact. With her passive talent too, Gan Yu Elemental Burst will give extra 20% cryo damage bonus to the character that is inside the AoE. So you can use Ganyu Elemental Burst as a support for Ayaka or Ganyu herself to increase Ganyu charge attack damage. Her Elemental Burst lasts for 15 seconds and the cooldown is last for 15 seconds as well. So make use of it, you can definitely use it every time when her burst is up. Okay now the next one is her artifacts and weapon choice. You have three choice, three different play styles for Ganyu. The first choice is for Cryoset and play her as a DPS. I play this style so I can clear my dailies super fast and 
the best weapon for this set, for this artifact set, is Amos Bow, and you can use a uh, four stars prototype bow in case you don't have Amos Bow. Prototype bow is enough for you to clear your dailies fast enough. So for the second choice is two set cryo and two set wanderer. Or straight away you can just use four set wanderer troop. This is a style that you would like to play elemental reaction combo with Xiangling. This can deal a super high damage. It is very fun to see a high high damage deal by Gan Yu charge attack. Yeah. For the weapon, I will choose Amos Bow. But this playstyle has a very flexible weapon choice because Thundering Pulse and Skyward Harp can do almost same damage. Third choice is Energy Recharge to spam your Ganyu Elemental Burst as a DPS support for Ayaka and Freezing combination with Chao. The artifact will be 4 Energy Recharge set with the weapon Ener Allergy for the end. Uh, Venti weapons or Sacrificial Bows or Favonius Bow to keep your Elemental Burst up. I would say this is super fun to combo with Chao, but freezing combination is not a meta inspired Abyss Floor Tioff now, but it is super nice in other floors. For her team build, it is actually based on the artifact you give to Ganyu. If you choose to play the first choice, which is the 4 set cryo set, your team build will be Ganyu, Diona or Zhongli, Sucrose or Bennett, and Mona or Kokomi. Gan Yu for DPS, Diona and Zhongli for shield, Sucrose and Obanet for gather monster or you want to increase your Gan Yu damage, yeah, whichever you like. And then Mona and Kokomi is to freeze the monster. But to me, Gan Yu as a DPS position, a shield and a Hydro applier is super super important in this team. And I always think Diona is better to be in this team because Diona can shield, heal, and battery for Ganyu. So Diona is one of the important part in Ganyu team. And then for the second choice, which is four set wanderer troop, your team will be Ganyu, Xiangling, Diona, Sucrose, or Venti. You gather your monster with Sucrose or Venti, then use your Xiangling Burst and Ganyu Burst. And lastly, do use your Ganyu to DPS all the monsters. The damage is very very high. And then the third choice is 4 set energy recharge. Your team build will be Chao or Ayaka as a DPS, and then Ganyu as support DPS, then Zhongli and Sucrose or Venti. Honestly, if you have Sun Her, then I don't think this is a recommended playstyle for Ganyu. Uh, but yeah, if you have Chao and Ganyu, you can definitely try it. The combination it's super super fun. Inspire Abyss, very very strong. Okay, so before this video ends, I would like to talk some of my thoughts about Ganyu. So, the first time when Ganyu released in Genshin Impact, I thought Ganyu is actually a support character because of her elemental burst have a super huge AoE, but until I try her out in her trial mod, her frost flag arrow bloom can deal a big amount of damage. I was like, whoa, that is actually surprised me, jeez. So, I decided to pull her. I never feel regret to have her in my team because Ganyu can do most of the daily easily with a big amount of damage from her frost flag arrow bloom and it's not only daily you also can use Ganyu to beat the ass of weekly bosses but um, of course not the stupid cryo dog in Moonstep yeah you know you know the dog I'm talking about right yeah that stupid dog so yeah Ganyu is one of the top tier open world character in Genshin Impact yeah, in open world, she is very very strong because she can one shot everything and kill everything in the blink of an eye. So, yeah, if you are looking for clearing your dailies fast or killing your weekly boss fast, yeah, Kanye is your choice. Okay, so that's it for this video. 
thank you for watching my video again I will be release another video tomorrow about whether you should pull Hiemiko or Kanji okay see you guys in my next video sayonara